So, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to Site 24 7's webinar series. I'm Elizabeth and I'm going to be your host and presenter for this webinar. And joining with me today is Mani, our technical expert. Hi, Mani. Thank you for joining. So, you're, you're most welcome. Okay. So, the topic for today's webinar is optimize your infrastructure for Black Friday and beyond. So before we begin, uh, let's take a quick look at uh, the agenda. So we'll be starting with a short introduction about Site247. Then we'll be talking about uh, some of the challenges faced during a uh, Black Friday sale season and uh, the importance of infrastructure optimization. And we'll also touch base on website monitoring and infrastructure monitoring. And finally, how capacity planning with Site247 can help you plan your resources at the time of sudden traffic spikes. So we'll be discussing a use case. Uh, we'll also have a live demo and a case study. So about uh, Site247. So Zoho's uh, IT management arm, Manage Engine, began developing Site247 like about uh, 15 years ago as a monitoring solution that could cater to the needs of a rapidly emerging cloud-centric IT environment. And now Site247 has evolved into an AIOps-powered digital experience monitoring, ITOM, and observability solution for companies of all sizes. It is also a full-stack monitoring solution that provides advanced monitoring capabilities like website monitoring, server monitoring, cloud monitoring, network monitoring, and much more in addition to application performance monitoring. So now let's uh, dive into our topic for the day. So Black Friday, as we all know, the day after Thanksgiving, has become synonymous with unbeatable deals, long lines in the stores, and an online shopping frenzy. So in this digital age, e-commerce businesses prepare for the annual shopping extravaganza with great anticipation. However, without a well-optimized infrastructure, the surge in traffic can turn into a nightmare. So some of the challenges faced by organizations during Black Friday sales event are traffic spikes, scaling challenges, downtime risk, system crashes, customer experience, and brand reputation. So preparing for Black Friday involves load testing, capacity planning, and also requires a well-optimized infrastructure to handle the increased traffic. So as we all know, the holiday season, especially Black Friday, can either make a business or break a business. So the surge in online shopping can lead to increased website traffic and potential performance issues. So let's talk about the importance of infrastructure optimization. So why is infrastructure optimization essential, especially during peak shopping, so, uh, shopping seasons like Black Friday? So the answer is very simple. A poorly performing website or application can lead to lost revenue, frustrated customers, and damage your brand's reputation. So optimizing your infrastructure results in scalability, high availability and performance. So when you talk about scalability, your infrastructure needs to handle the tra sudden traffic spikes. So proper optimization allows you to scale your resources as needed to maintain the performance. And when it comes to availability, we all know that an optimized infrastructure ensures that your website or application is available 24 seven, preventing downtime that can result in missed sales opportunities and performance. So speed and responsiveness are very critical. So slow websites and applications lead to customer abandonment. As a result, optimization ensures that your site performs at its best. So therefore, infrastructure optimization is a key to ensuring that your systems can handle the load, deliver a smooth user experience, and ultimately boost sales. So let's see how Site247 can help you achieve this. Site247 uh, has this uh, website monitoring feature, which is a practice of testing and ensuring the availability and performance of a website or a web page. 
So this helps gauge the end user experience that a web page offers and also tracks various metrics that can affect performance and availability. With a global presence and cloud native scalability, Site247 is the right choice for web hosting providers and businesses that wish to maintain their websites up and running, especially during times like Black Friday. So there are different website monitoring techniques offered by Site247. They are web availability monitoring, website performance monitoring, and web functionality monitoring. So website availability or uptime monitoring ensures that the web page is accessible by all users from all major locations. So Site247 constantly checks the website's availability from over 120 plus locations worldwide. So suppose if your website goes down for any particular reason, the monitoring service immediately detects the issue and alerts your IT team. So this allows them to take swift action and minimize the downtime which could otherwise result in lost sales and customer satisfaction. And when you talk about website performance monitoring, it mainly considers a web page speed and tracks the page elements that might slow down the page. So for example, let's say uh, there's an e-commerce company that uses Site247 to monitor various aspects uh, of website performance, including uh, page load time, server response time, and the performance of uh, critical web transactions, such as you know, adding items to the cart, completing the checkout process, etc. So if any of these performance metrics degrade beyond acceptable thresholds, Site247 sends alerts. So when it comes to web functionality monitoring, it includes transaction monitors that interact with a web page like a real user and ensures that each step in the transaction is working correctly. So it combines synthetic monitoring and real user monitoring data to achieve a high level of performance. So while synthetic monitoring proactively tests the response time and functionality of critical transactions or endpoints 24 seven from worldwide locations, real user monitoring measures a real world experience for your website and single page applications. So again, let's take an example of an e-commerce company that uses Site247. So Site247 allows the e-commerce company to create synthetic transactions that simulate real user interactions on the website. So for instance, uh, they can set up a synthetic transaction to mimic the process of searching a product, adding it to the cart, and making a purchase. So if any of these steps in the transaction fails or experiences performance issues, Site247 provides alerts enabling the company to fix the problem and prevent revenue loss. So by leveraging Site247's website monitoring during Black Friday, you can not only ensure the web availability and performance of your web website, but also optimize your infrastructure to handle the peak demand, provide a seamless shopping experience for customers, and maximize your revenue during this critical sales event. So now I now I'm going to quickly take you to the site 24 seven uh, website product uh, monitor UI. So as you can see here, this is how the UI would look like. So for demo purpose, I'm using a website monitor, which is already populated with uh, data. So you can see uh, metrics like response time uh, and response time by location, availability, availability and response time by location, all these data being populated in the website monitor. Now coming back to our presentation. Now let's talk about uh, infrastructure monitoring. So infrastructure monitoring uh, by Site247 is a comprehensive service that enables organizations to monitor and manage the performance and health of their IT infrastructure, which includes uh, servers, network devices, uh, virtualization platforms, containers, and cloud resources. So uh, this uh, infrastructure monitoring, uh, it also uh, helps it in integration with cloud platforms like AWS, Azure, and GCP for cloud monitoring. So imagine a medium-sized SaaS company that relies on a complex IT infrastructure to deliver its applications to customers. So this infrastructure includes multiple web servers, application servers, a database cluster, load balancers, and various other network components. So Site247 provides real-time monitoring of your entire infrastructure and allows you to closely monitor the health 
and performance of each component of your infrastructure, ensuring that you're aware of any issues or bottlenecks as they arise. You can also ensure that infrastructure remains secure and compliant with industry regulations even during peak traffic periods. Thus, by utilizing Site24-7's infrastructure monitoring during Black Friday, you can ensure that your infrastructure is optimized for the peak traffic, quickly respond to issues, and provide a reliable and high-performing online shopping experience for your customers. This, in turn, helps maximize sales and customer satisfaction. Again, uh, let's go back to the product UI. So we have, uh, I'm going to show you a, a quick view of Site 24-7's uh, cloud monitoring UI. So we have like AWS Azure and GCP monitoring. So this here is an easy to monitor populated with data driven from various metrics that we monitor. So as you can see, we have uh, metrics like CP utilization, network traffic, network packets activity. So all these are metrics monitored by Site24-7. So similarly, we have various other metrics that we monitor for other AWS services as well, as along with Azure and GCP. Now let's go back to our presentation. Now that's it about infrastructure monitoring. Now let's see what Site 24/7's capacity planning feature offers you. Yeah. So now uh, the capacity planning feature, like I said, uh, provides you with a aggregated value of a metric, you know, by grouping resources of your choice. So for ease of administration, you can choose to group the resources based on the business application, resource ownership, or geography. You can also set thresholds and get alerted when a value breach occurs in the capacity planning. So Site 24/7's capacity planning currently supports AWS and server monitors. Uh, listed here on the slide are some of the salient features offered by Site 24/7's capacity planning. So the performance monitoring feature enables you to view and track the capacity utilization of your resources based on metrics such as CPU, memory, and storage. And with capacity planning analysis, you can obtain the current health and an overview of the capacity usage metrics based on your resource type. So the health analysis is based on the performance metrics of the resource type. And the tag support feature, it helps you to add tags and effortlessly group your resources for capacity planning. And the IT automation for capacity planning involves automating the resources mapped under the capacity planning monitor which means you can execute IT automation for all the resources grouped under the capacity planning monitor as a single action instead of individually executing the automation for each resource. So while Zia Forecast gives you the forecasting data and manages the capacity of your resources, the Outlier feature finds the Outliers, the data points beyond the average value and maintains the quality of your resources. You can analyze the performance variation among monitors and identify the top and least contributors based on the performance with the top end and bottom end analysis report. Now let's see a use case and uh, understand how capacity planning helps you monitor, helps you to optimize your performance workload with the help of various metrics. So consider that you have a server capacity planning monitor in which the capacity level of memory utilization metric is at critical state, and also the used physical memory metric is at risk state. So with capacity planning, you can check whether the performance value of both the metrics is under control or not, and obtain an overview of the metric performance along with the top servers contributing to the unusual behavior of your monitor in an unified view. So let's go to the UI and see how these metrics are monitored and also learn how to add a threshold profile with custom metric value for uh, CPU uh, for the capacity planning monitor. So let me take you to the UI. Okay, so for ease of demonstration, I'm going to use a server capacity planning monitor, which is uh, pre-configured with the relevant data. So this is one server capacity planning uh, monitor configured with the metrics we discussed in the use case. 
so as you can see here we have memory utilization and used physical memory so this is one uh, you know uh, server capacity planning monitor uh with all these like i said all these pre-configured data so when you create a capacity planning monitor you can either configure the metrics based on your requirement or you can go with the metrics that are added by default at the time of capacity planning monitor creation so this server capacity planning monitor is with custom threshold values so the memory utilization metric so this is the percentage of memory uh, of the servers. So the monitoring this memory usage metric helps you to identify underused servers and redistribute the loads effectively. And when it comes to free physical memory, it is also called random access memory. So maintaining this metric in an optimal level will increase the overall performance of your server. So similarly, we have various other metrics as well, which can be monitored and thus keep your resources up and running, especially during peak traffic period. So we can see a detailed breakdown of the metric usage in the capacity planning analysis tab. So to go to the capacity planning analysis tab, you can just click here on the view detailed analysis. And as you can see on the screen, <laughs> you can uh, view the status of your uh, metric. Uh, you can get an overview of your metric, the capacity level and the major contributors of this particular metric. So uh, for as an overview in uh, you in the overview section you can view the memory utilization capacity its status the current value and the configured threshold so this capacity planning analysis tab it provides the current health and an overview of the capacity usage metrics based on your monitor type so capacity level so i already talked about overview so when it comes to capacity level it is the percentage of the current value to reach the threshold value so for example, in this memory utilization, the current value is 52.5% and the assigned threshold is 90, sorry, the capacity level is 58%, which means the current value has reached 58.3% of the configured threshold. And now when it comes to the major contributors section, uh, this section lists all the monitors that contribute to the capacity level along with their value. So it helps you to understand which monitor or instance uses up the maximum capacity in a particular capacity planning monitor group and how much they contribute. So this is how uh, these are the details that you can get from the capacity planning analysis tab. Now I'm going to show you how to add a threshold profile, add or edit a threshold profile and add the uh, metrics custom threshold values based on your requirement. So for that, Click on the edit button here at the top. Go to the threshold profile session. Next to the capacity planning threshold field, you see a edit icon as well as an add icon. So if you want to edit the existing threshold, you can click on this edit icon and then edit your uh, capacity planning threshold. But if you want to add a threshold profile, click on this add button. So that will open the add threshold profile page. Now enter a threshold name now you can be make the proper uh, choices based on your requirement and we have the threshold type of static threshold and zia based threshold and when you come down you have this field uh, this section called capacity planning configuration so here you see an option called use default capacity planning values. So if you talk for by default, this is set to yes, but if you set it to no, it gives you the provision to configure the metrics uh, based on your requirement. So like I said, when you create a capacity planning monitor, this option is set to yes by default and you'll get the default metrics based on your uh, requirement and you can that can be monitored. So now I'm going to show you how to uh, add metrics uh, custom metrics so i'm going to turn this option to no so you get the capacity planning condition choose your condition accordingly and now from the threshold value section so as you can see here we have like multiple uh, metrics so i'm going to use swap memory utilization threshold i'm going to enter the value And 
then I'm going to add another metric process CPU utilization threshold. And here also I'm going to add another value. And then click save. So you get a message like successfully added. And this particular capacity uh, uh, planning threshold gets added here in the box. And then when you click save, get saved. And when you refresh, so based on the polling interval, the data gets collected and the configured metrics will be displayed in the capacity planning analysis. Now let's go back to our presentation and view a case study. So in this case study, I'm going to be discussing about an e-commerce company called Zilker. So Zilker is an established e-commerce platform that has a huge global customer base. So ensuring website stability and performance during peak demand was one of the main challenges faced by them. So Zilker anticipated a substantial increase in online traffic during the Black Friday sales event. With the potential for a surge in concurrent users, the company recognized the need to optimize its infrastructure to prevent downtime, slow response times, and potential revenue loss. So what were the challenges faced by Silka? So Silka uh, faced unpredictable traffic spikes, performance concerns, cost overruns, and resource wastage. So in order to overcome these challenges, Silka decided to partner with Site247. So Site247 provided comprehensive monitoring and ana analysis to optimize the company's infrastructure for Black Friday. So what were the results achieved through that? So as Silka partnered with Site247, they were able to uh, achieve proactive issue resolution, optimized resource allocation, improved performance, cost savings, enhanced reliability, and business continuity. So Site247's monitoring alerted Silco e-commerce about potential issues before they impacted the user experience, allowing for proactive issue resolution. It also assisted in right-sizing the infrastructure, preventing both over-provisioning and under-provisioning that resulted in optimized resource allocation. The website maintained optimal performance, ensuring a positive user experience during Black Friday with the help of Site247. The efficient resource allocation resulted in cost savings by avoiding unnecessary infrastructure expenses as well. And Site247's capacity planning features ability to identify and address potential performance bottlenecks in advance also improved the overall reliability of their online services. They were also able to proactively diagnose service issues and drill down to the root cause of the issue, which in turn helped them to reduce the downtime of their online services. So Site247's proactive monitoring ensured uninterrupted services and business continuity, preventing revenue loss and preserving the company's reputation. So by leveraging Site247's capacity planning and other features, Zilko e-commerce successfully navigated the challenges posed by Black Friday's unpredictable traffic. The proactive approach to monitoring, optimization, and scalability assessment allowed the company to maximize the performance minimize the cost and ensure a successful Black Friday sales event. So before we conclude, let's take a quick recap about Site247. So like I said, capacity planning feature analyzes the resource usage and enables you to plan, process, and procure additional resources based on the metrics data collected. With Site247's capacity planning, you can view and track the capacity utilization of your resources based on metrics like CPU, memory, and storage. You can monitor the health or status of your resources grouped under the capacity planning monitor, forecast and manage the capacity of your resources, coordinate the workload among resources with top-in and bottom-in analysis, find the outliers, the data points beyond the average value, and maintain the quality of your resources. With IT automation, you can automate the resources mapped under the capacity planning monitor, and also diagnose service issues in your resources and drill down to the root cause of the issue. In addition to these capacity planning features, Site247's comprehensive visibility into the organization's IT landscape with website monitoring and infrastructure monitoring 
ensures the availability, performance, and security of websites, applications, and infrastructure components of your organization. So furthermore, if you have a custom metric to be configured, you can leverage the plugins featured by Site247 to ensure a successful Black Friday sale. So as we conclude the session, remember with Site247's exciting features, you can not only survive, but thrive during the Black Friday rush. So hope you had an interesting session. Before we wrap things up, I got to share some uh, interesting uh, details about Site247 with you folks. So like I mentioned, Site247 is secure, powerful, agile, and scalable. We support 13,000 plus customers worldwide and monitors billions of metrics. We also provide mobile and desktop support in addition to monitoring from global locations. Furthermore, we offer a 30-day free trial, so you can totally check it out and sign up later. And let me also point out that we also provide separate pricing plans for MSP customers. So Site247 also complies with all the major security standards as it undergoes an industry standard audit every year, where an evaluation of the design and operative effectiveness is diligently done. So please find our contact details here or just hit up our website for more info. So thus, we have come to the end of this, end of this session. So if you have any questions, please feel free to shoot your questions in the chat box. So I take it that we do not have any questions. So thank you for being here today. Hope you find this webinar to be educational and interesting. Please visit our webinar page to get the list of upcoming webinars. We look forward to seeing you in our other sessions as well. Thank you for joining.